a little something different with uh, Dividend Cafe this week. I'm walking through my office out here in New York. You can look out here over the New York Public Library. Look up and see the skyline of New York. There's uh, the Salesforce headquarters here in New York. And and obviously a lot of snow down on top of buildings, top of the ground. And we look down here on on Fifth Avenue this way. 42nd Street going out towards Avenue America is the other way. Bryant Park there, you can see the top of the trees. But certainly a... Um, uh, a wonderful frigid and cozy uh, day here in New York. So I don't know, it gives you a little look at where I've been working all week, but let's talk about what's been going on this week, which I think is what's most important to all of you. Really quite a very newsworthy week in terms of the week in the markets. Um, yes, markets have moved higher yet again. We look on our way to a 12th consecutive positive month in a calendar year in equity markets. Uh, of course, um, there's two weeks to go in December, so don't hold me to that, anything can happen. But the reality is, is that the tax reform bill now is uh, ready almost for a vote coming out of conference. And the changes that they have shockingly made in conference, reconciling the differences between the House and the Senate bill, have all from my vantage point been very positive and from the market's vantage point been positive. Yes, the corporate tax rate has gone from 20 up to 21, which is not seen as a big needle mover, but the Senate bill didn't have the corporate tax cut kicking in until 2019. The new bill has it kicking in 2018. And the top rate on income earners dropping from 39.6% down to 37%, even lower than the Senate's bill, which had it at 38 and a half. So that's a reasonably significant move down in marginal rates. And you have this incredible uh, stimulative uh, aspect and competitive aspect of the business tax reform. Um, some version of it appears headed to the president's desk probably by next week, signed into law going into 2018. Markets have priced a lot of that in and then we go into the new year ready to kind of live with whatever the consequences of that are. I would argue most of them will be positive for investors, positive for the economy. The Fed this week raised rates a quarter point, absolutely no surprise there. This Bitcoin craze is just completely out of control, which is very different than me saying Bitcoin's about to go lower or Bitcoin's not or whatever. I have no forecast whatsoever on it, but all of the reasons why we have such a complete lack of interest in participating in the present Bitcoin mania I've articulated at DividendCafe.com this week, and I won't get into it here on the video, but other than to re reiterate the principle that we resist all forms of mania and all forms of people piling into something they do not understand, pricing getting disconnected from any fundamental form of value. This, it could it go down 70%? Absolutely it could. Could it go up another 2,000%? Who knows? My point is we're not gamblers, we're investors, and I lay that out um, at DividendCafe.com. So a tax reform side this week, I think overwhelmingly positive news, and uh, the Fed raising rates indicating a continued very slow path towards normalization, but a very new Fed regime comes in in 2018. We have a lot of concerns about what could end up happening within certain aspects of the bond market, and we've positioned accordingly. So when I say concerns, I think that we've reacted to those concerns. But nevertheless, um, getting ready to wrap up the 2017 calendar year, lots of very interesting things. Can't wait to recap the whole year. But as far as this week goes, the big stories, Fed raising rates, Bitcoin mania, and then corporate tax reform. Look at DividendCafe.com, and thank you so much for watching our Dividend Cafe video.